Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome back for another video. So today we have another eBay auction. Now this one's actually something a little bit similar to one you've actually seen before. Uh, in here we should have a binder full of somebody's collection from when they were a kid apparently. Um, and if you remember correctly, can you remember those legend cards that we've seen where there was three legend cards at the end of the file I was quite excited about? And unfortunately, two of them turned out to be fake. There was one genuine, but two of them turned out to be fake. Well, this one, again, should have some legend cards in it. But, fingers crossed, this time they are actually all genuine. Now, I paid £62 for this auction in total. So, a decent little outlay. And, fingers crossed, we get a nice little return for it. There should be, because as I say, this was somebody's collection from when they were a kid... There should be a fair few older cards. I don't think they're too vintage. I don't think they're sort of Wizards of the Coast era. Uh, if there is any Wizards of the Coast era, it would be the tail end of the Wizards of the Coast era. So hopefully a little bit of sort of, I don't know, maybe it's, um, Sky Ridge. That would be nice. I doubt there's any Sky Ridge in here, but you never know. But I think what's actually in here is maybe sort of black and white era. Um. But yeah, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Kind of lose a finger here. Uh, so already you can see a folder which says Luke's Pokemon folder. So this obviously belonged to somebody called Luke before me. Um, now the pictures that I have seen on the auction were quite promising. Uh, I can't even get into the bloody thing, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can slice it this way. Try not to damage anything, namely my table and my mat. Right, there we go. I think we're in. Yeah, we are in. So, as you can see from the top here, there's quite a few cards inside this folder, which is a very promising sign. Uh, the folder itself looks quite old, which again could be a good sign. Something good in there. Um, so here we go. It's somebody's lever arch filer. Now, I'm not going to pull out every card in here. What I'll do is we'll have a quick glance through some of the pages. If we see anything that we kind of like or we want a better look at, then I'll pull it out and we'll have a good look at that. Um, so on the first page... Maybe somebody's pulled out some more of the valuable cards. Could be wrong, but there we go. So again, we've got some, as I said, as I mentioned, we've got some black and white, which is what I thought might have been in here. Uh, we've got some heart and soul. Oh, let's see, what's that called again? I can't even remember. Is it unleashed? I see it unleashed, but might not be right. Um, so yeah, we've got some more. Fix that in the middle. Binders are always very awkward to kind of show on the uh, videos because so bulky. Uh, so we just got a load of commons and uncommons at the moment. Uh, we've got some Arceus up here, which isn't too bad. So they're not vintage, but they are sort of semi vintage, which is promising. Got some Call of Legends there. Like Clefairy, nice old Clefairy there. Nice Chikorita. Charmeleon up top from Arceus. So a lot of these sort of non-Wizards of the Coast but semi-vintage sets are actually sets that I don't have a lot of at the moment. Um, the sets that people sort of kind of either ear lost interest once sort of Wizards of the Coast died out. Or we're just getting into it and therefore didn't have a lot of money. So I think they're actually sort of less common sets as far as having to like rebuy them now on eBay. They seem to come up a lot less than sort of uh, actually just to note as well. I don't know if these are all duplicates, but yeah, they are. So there's actually a fair few sort of duplicates in here as well, which is good. So it's not necessarily just the cards you're seeing at the front. Um, they are a few duplicates which we can also resell. So that also adds up to the total. Um, so I'm imagining the same principle again goes here. Yeah, we've got several of those Drifloons from Unleashed. 
So, and they're actually all in very nice condition. They do look like they've all just been popped straight into the binder and kept in the binder. But up to now, I'm not seeing anything sort of overly rare or anything like that. They've all sort of been commons and uncommons at the moment. Hopefully some of the rarer stuff is towards the back of the folder. Uh, but some of this artwork, I mean, that ghastly there is absolutely gorgeous. I do like some of the old ghastly artworks. Very creepy and eerie sort of looking. Um, I think ghastly has got to be up there as one of my more favourite Pokemon, actually. Him and Hunter. Not a big fan of Gengar. Gengar's okay. But ghastly and Hunter's definitely where it's at. So, yeah, we've got a few older cards again there. Um, hopefully this is bringing back a little bit of nostalgia for some of you guys that maybe collected this era. There's Jolty on there. Um, and most of these cards actually seem to be about three or four thick. So we've got a fair few duplicates as well, which is always good for the resale value. Um, I pull out a few for my collection. Obviously I only need one of each. Um, and I can resell some to you guys. I always like to put my cards up as well at uh, auction. I never like to put them up for a buy it now. I think, you know, you, you win some, you lose some. I've had some cards only worth about two pounds, sell for like five, just because people really want it and go crazy on the bids. And yet I've had cards that are like four pounds and only sell for like a pound. Um, so I think you win some, you lose some, but I think overall it tends to balance out and you do generally get the value of the cards. Um, but yeah, what I, what I do is I buy these big auctions, buy these bulks, rake out the cards I want, and then I resell what I don't need. Uh, but it's quite a lengthy process. I do have quite a large collection of spares at the moment. It's just finding the time to actually sit and sort them all out. They are all in order, so that's one good thing. I've got a nice little folder there with them all in order. And there's an awful lot of Oshwats here, I think. So we've actually got the different variants as well, which is quite nice. It's not just the particular single Oshwat. Uh, and the cards, as I say, they are all actually in mint or near mint condition. So this was definitely somebody's folder that they loved and cared for. Got a few nice older Pikachus there. Yeah, I think Pikachu tends to hold its value quite well. It's always quite a sought after collector's card. There's a few people out there that just collect the Pikachu cards. So got Quilava up there. So I think that was probably one of the good things that went about this auction actually, with a lot of these cards being behind each other. Um, I think obviously when people's been bidding on it, they were only expecting the single cards in there. I was certainly only expecting the single cards in there. So there's actually a lot more value for money than what I expected here, which is a very good sign. Obviously I don't expect the GXs and stuff like that to be doubled up, but there's an awful lot of bulk here which certainly has a lot of resale value. There's my fan favourite Cypher, quite a nice artwork, I do like that artwork. Probably my favourite artwork of all time for Cypher, this one up here. Absolutely gorgeous looking card. Nice squirtle there. So I still haven't seen any sort of major rares or anything yet. They've all been commons and uncommons, unfortunately. Um, we're about halfway through the folder now. But... Hopefully we start to get into some of the rarer stuff. Certainly a lot of black and white here. Whoever collected was certainly sort of well into their black and white series. Nice war turtle there. A few trainer cards here so yeah I can actually see a few of the rarer cards towards the back uh, judging actually by the quality of this as well I am quite confident that the cards that we got in here are all genuine 
um, which gives me good hope for the the ultra rares when we do finally get to that. Hey, what? I drop you a couple of code cards there. So we've got two hidden fates. You can both enjoy them. Try not to take both of them. Leave one for somebody else if you don't mind. Now trainers, I've never really known the value of trainers. It's probably a couple of sort of sought after trainers. I know rare candies and things like that tend to hold a little bit of value or some of the more nostalgic sort of originals like anything holding red on it maybe holds a little bit of value. Um, but as far as competitive player is, because I'm not a competitive player myself, I don't actually know if any of these are worth anything. Obviously I know there's rotation as well, so the rotation takes a lot out. I know some of these energies can sometimes be worth a decent price as well. Uh, with the characters and stuff like that in the background. Maybe it's not the hard gold and sold silver ones, but I do know that some of them are fairly valuable. And we're starting to get into some of the reverses here. We've got a nice reverse double colorless energy there. There we go, we've got a, a Raikou promo from the Hard Gold Soul Silver series. I've actually got the Entai in Suicune and was missing the Raikou, so that's very good. We got a Shattered Foil Raikou there. So we've got a nice rare Skarmory. So these seem to be our rare cards. Um, which is by that. Hopefully we've got a fair few rare cards there. So we've got a... Is that a Hollow? Nope, just a regular rare. We've got a Arceus Secret Rare there from the ER6, from the ER series. We've got that Entai that I was just talking about. I've already got one of these. So that is actually a duplicate, but seems to be in better condition than mine. Yeah, the condition is absolutely mint. Uh, a little tiny bit of edge whitening up there, but other than that, a fantastic quality card. Absolutely no scratches on there whatsoever. Card is obviously being pulled straight out of the uh, the set or the pack. Obviously not a pack, but the the box set, um, and put straight in the folder. So that's good news. Uh, a couple of these duplicates. So a couple of these have duplicates as well. Um, not the Arceus, but I, think, I noticed a few of them. I think do actually have some duplicates. Yeah. So, for instance, that one on the next page has a duplicate. Um. That reverse EV over there has a duplicate. So we've got a nice hollow Gyarados there. Not bad. Yeah, that was the, the, the shiny layer on. Oh, it's actually got a different version of the layer on there, actually, from a different set. So yeah, we've got some very nice cards here. Lumion, not bad. Paris, Persian, nice hollow promo there for a nice Reshiram. Sizor, lovely looking artwork on that. Good old reverse cipher there. And we've got some prime cards along with the Charizard here. So we've got a Charizard number one shattered foil from Mark Ace. Got a Requeza, not bad. We've got a nice Prime Raichu there, a Prime Umbreon, and these are all genuine and all in absolutely mint condition. Got a nice Prime Houndoom, Scizor. We've got the Secret Rare Alpha Liftograph. I think that was a Secret Rare anyway. Pretty certain that was. Hollow Houndoom, this Hollow Espion, which actually is a duplicate by the looks of it. Yeah, so we've actually got two of those. Nice, nice. Slip that back in there, not to damage it. Um, on this page we've got, as you can see, some of the uh, legend cards there. So we've got a Zekrom. Promo, Regigigas, Promo, not a Promo actually, Hollow, 
screwed on. And then we have, let's just take this out so it's a bit easier. So we've got that Legend, Kyogre and Groudon, uh, which we actually have the top and the bottom half. So we've actually got the complete one there. Absolutely gorgeous looking cards, them Legend cards. I don't understand why they've never made more. We've also got the Requeza and Deoxys top half. We then have a Prime Slow King. It's nice. And we've got a couple of, are these full art? Yeah, we've got a full art black and white Zekrom. Again, absolutely fantastic condition. And we've got a full art Tornadus. I think these are the days before full arts actually had any texture on them as well. So a couple of reverses there. As you can see, a few duplicates as well. I think this has actually been an absolute steal for £64, guys. Like I say, I was happy when I just knew it was regular single cards, but knowing that there's all these duplicates in here as well is an absolute bargain. You do sometimes get some beautiful gems on uh, eBay. I mean, you get some scummy ones as well where they're all fakes, and the guys selling them know the fakes. But you do come across some absolute gems like this. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am, because I'm certainly quite excited about this. Uh, I can't wait to later on just pull them all out and see what I've got. See how much it boosts up my set. Mm. Got a Shattered Foil Torterra there. And another Shattered Foil Blastoise down here. Nice hollow nine tails there, lovely artwork. And on the last page we've got a promo Oshawott. A few reverses there. A nice hollow Zorak, two of them. And finally, oh we've got Suicune to complete the set. So we've actually got that full promo set there. Again, like I said, I had Sweet Goon already, and I had Entai already, so I was actually only missing the Raikou. Uh, but we've got some more Hollows up here as well. So yeah, I'll do my best to pop the prices up in the uh, bottom left corner. Um, it might be a little bit difficult, obviously, with it looking at the folder. What I'll do is I'll try and pop them as we're talking about specific cards. Um, Obviously, I'm not going to pop a price up for everything, so I'll pop up some of the more valuable prices, and then, as always, we'll just put a plus on the end, because we know the value is obviously a lot more than what we've priced. Um, but yeah, let me know how you, let me know how you think I did, guys. Um, I definitely, personally, think this was an absolute steal. Um, I mean, just the amount of sort of older rares in there, and the absolute fantastic condition they're all in. Yeah, I mean that one's got a little bit of marking on there, but generally the cards are all sort of mint near mint condition and uh, absolutely beautiful and Such a great quality and quantity Yeah, uh, I think we can certainly turn a tidy profit So yeah, I'll, I'll pull out the cards I want and I still think I'll make a nice little profit on everything else that's left Like I say for the uh, 62 63 pound we paid absolute bargain so before we leave there's another two core cards for you guys. So we've got two hidden fates. And thank you very much for watching as always. I will see you all next time.